Yeah, y'all know the vibes. Uh, she gonna be teaching me how to tattoo today, y'all. Even though I'm a, I'm already a great um, tattoo artist already. She just trying to, uh, I guess she wanna make herself look good for the vlog real quick, saying she no, trying to teach me how to I, tattoo. I want you to tattoo me. You want me to tattoo you? Yeah, and I need you to hear me up. You feel like I'll mess you up if I, if I tattoo you right now? <laughs> Possibly. I don't think I would. I can actually touch you whatever you want on you right now. We're gonna see first on the lemon. We're gonna tap to the lemon, y'all. <laughs> We're gonna start off just lining, just lining stuff first. Can we start off on you? No. Can I try it on you first? You already and did. Then if I mess up, we can just I can try it again and do a cover up on you. <laughs> That's worse. That's worse. Yeah, you already did a tattoo on me. We're gonna use a small liner today. And I did a great job too. You didn't tell everybody that. I did. I posted. I got one of the best tattoos I ever put on you. I have a video. I have a video. Okay, we're gonna do some shading. I'm in tattoo class right now. She gonna teach me how to tattoo and I'm gonna teach her how to work on bikes. <laughs> you taught me how to, how to wheelie a little bit. How to wheelie? How to catwalk. I'm gonna teach her how to uh, take a motor apart. <laughs> teach me. Okay, I'll learn. I'm a good, I'm a good learner. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the lemon. Okay, I'm 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 gonna start off with the or do both. I can do fun. Let's let's start with fun since that's a smaller bird. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna start with fun first. Okay. <clears throat> and we're gonna put fun on the So lemon. first you're gonna put gloves on. I gotta put gloves on with the lemon? Even though I'm just doing a lemon. Yes. You gotta get it. You're into, really gonna make me put gloves you on. You have right to now. get into the habit of being sanitary. So put your gloves on. Nah, that's crazy, bro. I'm putting on gloves to tattoo a fruit, y'all. Yes. Right. Okay. All right, y'all. So I got my magic gloves on for sanitation purposes, I guess, for yeah. a lemon. But <laughs> yeah, this is a pretend person. So this is a person. Okay, so we're gonna pretend like the lemon is a person right now. Mm -hmm. Hey, so what's your name? What do you? What kind of tattoo you want today, bro? I want fun. Okay, he said he wants fun. Okay, so in real life, you would get a paper towel. A towel. You say in real life? Yes. And you would have had alcohol. So what about the fake life and fake life? Pretend you put alcohol on here and you wipe the person's skin. Okay. Boom. And then you get. So I wipe. This kid. Now you're gonna get. You got some hard skin. Stencil stuff. This is what you're gonna use to put your stencil. Right? Oh, look, you have hanging out right here. Oh, but it got smudged. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do fun. Oh, you have hanging out here too. You wanna do fun though, right? Yeah, let's do fun. Fun in the sun. Okay, so we're gonna cut it. Right? Since it's like not a flat surface, you cut like little slits somewhere down the middle. So when you wrap it, you don't get like weird little bubbles. Oh yeah. That's I a tip. You. I get you, I get you. So, well, I would say don't tell anybody, but everybody knows now, so whatever. Okay. So now you have your stencil. All right, so now, never touch this on the person's skin. You're gonna put some on your glove. Let me see your finger. Put some, right? And you're gonna rub it on the lemon. Where do you wanna put it? Just we'll across? Right here, yeah. Okay, now rub it around. Like that? Yeah. 
pretty much everywhere if you can yeah so you don't want it to be too wet but you want it to be like like how when you put lotion when you get out the shower like yeah. that like just a little bit i guess sticky yeah okay there now you're gonna take your stencil and put it where you put the stencil stuff <laughs> So just grab it. Yeah. Like this. Mm-hmm. And just lay it there. Mm-hmm. Like that. Yeah. Okay. Just... Try not to move it too much. Yeah. Exactly. Boom. Make sure you got all the lines. Try not to smudge it. Oh, okay. The F I think needs a little bit. There. Now you peel it off quick, like in one shot, like a band aid. You think it's good enough though? Is yes. It down good? Yeah. You sure? Mm hmm. Peel it off like a band aid quick. Ooh, All right. Ooh! thing looking good. What? Now you're going to have to set up the machine. So you're going to let the person dry. Um, okay, bro, I'm going to let you dry for a little bit. Just let yourself dry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now, oh, where's my bird? Okay, some people use um, like these little plastic sleeves that they sell that goes around the machine and the cable. But I just use this because. Seems like you're real high on um, sanitation. You have to be. It's basically like a minor surgical procedure. You really want to get technical. You think so, you think having getting a tattoo is a surgery? Yeah. I think we already talked about this. We already had an argument about this situation. It is though because it is. It really is. What do y'all think? Do y'all feel like uh, getting a tattoo is a minor surgery? So you pretty much want to um, put a barrier on everything you're going to touch, right? Okay. The buttons, the knobs, and then when you're done, you just throw all that away. All right. Now, to set up the machine, you got your shaders and your liner. So we're gonna start with the liners, right? With the liners. Ooh, I know something. I'm gonna start with the liners. With the liners. She been tattooing me so much, I I got some type of concept. Okay, I don't have gloves on. This this is just a lemon, so. But. Ooh, lemon. I can never get this thing open. You have the needle in the needle cartridge. All right, you want to turn it on. And this is a tricky part. So you kind of want to listen to it. Like every machine is different. Ah, what you listening to like? Okay, so you hear the vibration. The needle going in and out? Yeah, but you hear the vibration, right? It's kind of like a motor. You don't want it to sound too rattly. Too and rattly? You, and you don't want it to sound too low. See, this is like too Oh, that's low. too low. Like, it's hard to explain. Like every needle, every machine is different. So like, you kind of want it like right there to where it's not rattling and... Okay, so now what you do, what you do is you want to watch so the It's like you're trying to find that perfect sound. Yeah. Not too low, but not too high. Right. And then you adjust your needle. See when I adjust what the needle? What the hell? You adjust your needle. Yeah, so this machine, you twist it. You twist it to the left, and the needle goes down. So how will you know this when it's perfect? So you want it to stick out just enough 
to where you can see it going in the skin but not too much like this to where Ooh. to where like if you go it's gonna hurt somebody there well everybody tests differently like i could have it like this and i'll literally watch the tip of the needle just going in but since you're learning you don't want it to stick it out that long because you're probably gonna ride the needle which means you're gonna stick it all the way in try not to do that though try to just watch the tip of the needle as it goes into the skin you literally just want the tip of it to go in so we're gonna not stick it out so much so right around there so that if you do go too deep it's not gonna be too painful but you can see the tip so while you're tatting you're gonna you're gonna see like it's like a horizon, right? You just want the tip just to go right past the first layer of skin. <clears throat> so like right there, boom. Now that it's in, you wanna wrap it. So this has two sections, right? You need to be able to twist it to make it go in and out because when you switch needles, um, you gotta adjust it, right? So you take one layer, Always leave enough space to switch needles if you want to. Okay. So, boom, 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 set up, stencil's done. By the time you're done setting up, the stencil should be dry. Um, so now you need your ink. Oh, I need water. Let me get one of those water bottles. You need water? Yes. You're gonna be lining, so. You really want um, just straight black ink. We're gonna use this last one, right? And I might teach you some shading. So shading, you could drop maybe one, two, three. We're gonna try one, two, and the rest, I'll show you what I do. So you fill these with water, this is your shading. You're just diluting it. So when you shade, it's not just straight up black shading. <laughs> okay, remember Barry. So you leave the line and you do the, the cup for the line and you just leave that straight ink? Yeah, unless you're doing like a portrait or something that has lines that are not so dark then you can use the shady or the diluted one to do a line also like when you're doing portraits and stuff um a lot of times you don't need those thick black lines so so shading i mean it's like a bloodline it's what we call bloodline so for lining you don't like a regular dark lining you don't need no to, to dilute it right no like this you don't need to dilute it but if you were to do something like like, I don't know, like this owl right here. You see like the lines are not super dark. If you just wanted to outline to see where to go, you would use bloodline. So is, mainly names, getting tattoo names, you <clears throat> that's straight ink. Black ink. For yeah. lining, right? Yeah. Okay. So you got your rotary. Nowadays, everybody has wireless machines, so you're not gonna have to do all this, but this is just for learning purposes. Um, how to set up a wired rotary tattoo machine. Okay. So you're set up, you're pretty much ready to go. The stencil should be dry. The first thing you want to do to protect the stencil, and this is what a lot of people don't do, and you will lose your stencil. <clears throat> first thing you want to do to protect the stencil is put a thin layer of Vaseline over the whole thing before you start. I don't care if it's a half a sleeve, a quarter sleeve, just put a thin layer of Vaseline or across the whole thing. So that when you're working, if you do put your hand anywhere where there's stencil, it's not gonna um, rub it away. The Vaseline kind of like gives it like a little layer of protection. Kind of like when you laminate something. So you're gonna sit over here. I'm gonna record you. And I want you to just put like a thin thin layer, like just 
the little piece and just across the whole fun. Okay, and then you're gonna come here and we're gonna test. Yeah. Mm hmm Just a little bit and just across the whole thing. Don't like rub it in, it's just literally just a layer on top that sits on top. All right, cool. Now you're ready to start. Are you right-handed or left-handed? Right-handed. Okay, so since you're right-handed, you want to start from the right bottom and work your way towards the top left. Why? Because if you start on the left, your hand is going to be all over the whole stencil that you haven't done yet and you're, you could lose your stencil. So you want to start bottom right or top right. Just start from the right and work your way to the left. You get me? Because then as you're working, um, your hand is not smudging or erasing your, your stencil. So, wait, we're gonna turn it on. There. Okay, so you wanna actually, you wanna dip it in the ink when the machine is off because various reasons. <laughs> you can either hit the ink cup with a needle and that's horrible, it could be a mess. You could mess up the needle and you you could possibly get ink everywhere. So when you dip, definitely uh, turn it off. All right, so now try to stick it in just the tip and move it along not fast like you're using a pencil but kind of like yeah there you go but keep try to keep it going so that you don't have to stop yeah and you want to take your time exactly like a good second or two on each section Okay, now you could wipe. Oh! <laughs> some people dry wipe, some people wet wipe. If you dry wipe somebody, they'll probably hate you. So, you definitely want to get used to wet wiping. Okay. So, you wipe. Right? Not too bad. Yeah. Um, a little cricket there a little bit. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> it's a little cricket. Okay. Now, since it got a little cricket, it's okay. You can kind of save it. Start from the bottom of that line where you didn't tattoo yet and work your way up. Up. Yeah. So right here. Uh-huh. Like that. See how you fixed it? Okay. All right, now you don't wanna go over a line too many times. Cause you see how it's like ripped right there now? Where it? A little bit. Oh no, that's just the extra line. <laughs> Okay, so now you want to dip it again. Turn it off? Yeah, try to use a switch in the back. Better. Yeah, now you dip it. Uh huh. Now you switch it on and continue. Sometimes it's better to work down up. Like if you feel like it's easier for you to do a line from up to down or from down to up, do it like that. You know what I mean? Okay. Like some people it's easier to go up like this or some people it's easier to pull the machine downward to make a straight line. Okay, let me try up, down. Yeah, I think that might be a little better for me. <laughs> yeah, like pulling it down, me too. Pulling it down would be a little easier. 
Yeah, I feel like the lines come out a little bit straighter. Can you say wipe, right? Or yeah, you can wipe. Should I go down one more time? You always want to wipe when you see um, ink like that. Okay. So you can see what you're doing. You can put the machine down on that paper. Okay, yes. Yeah. Okay. That, that was a good enough wipe right there? Mm-hmm. <laughs> now, do I dip it again? Uh, yeah. Anytime you, you want to go back in, it's a good idea to dip it. Just one time? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Start from the top if you can. Okay. Try not to lift the needle at all. Just try to keep going. See, your speed is good because you're not going too fast. Okay. Yeah. I'm trying, y'all. I'm trying. I'm trying. I trust. It's my first time good. tattooing, y'all. First time ever tattooing. Okay. Put this back over here. She said, "Dip it." Now we're gonna do the U. The U kind of like erased a little bit up here. You see how this U is a little longer. Oh. Okay. So I kind of want to see if. You could freeze hand it. Yeah. <laughs> I knew you were going with that. I do. How, how I knew she was going what you're going at with that. Why? Because Because you did it a few times on me. This happens a lot. Like you will lose a piece of the stencil and you're gonna have to figure it out. That's the artist part of the situation. So just start start maybe start down upward down upward yeah like on the piece that's already there you see what i mean okay and then just continue it a little bit i think it might be might be better for me to start up or down okay because i already see kind of where yeah okay so do it remember this is not a real person so okay they're not gonna get too mad <laughs> you did good. Nah, I kind of scribbled a little bit. <laughs> I kind of scribbled a little bit, y'all. It's okay. Keep doing the rest of the... Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. You make me laugh, bro. All right. It's not as easy as it looks, huh? Definitely not. Not too bad, not too shabby. All right. I feel like I did uh, kind of a, uh, um. And when you wipe, don't wipe the whole tat. Just what I do, um, wrap it around your finger. Yeah, you see? And then you just kind of like wipe where you tattooed only. And you don't have to wipe, you could pat it. It's just really to get the excess ink off so you can see what you're doing and what you did. Yeah, I think the padding, I like the padding more than the wiping. Yeah. But I feel like I erased this, like, with The her. stencil, yeah. But sometimes people bleed a lot, depending who it is. It could be health conditions, medication, uh -oh. drinking. Uh, sometimes they take Tylenol. All that stuff will thin your blood and it'll you'll have to wipe. Y'all hear that, right? <laughs> okay, so we're on the U. Oh, man. Yeah, we're on the U. Okay. Remember, 
whatever. You only want the tip of the needle to go in. Right. This is a real art, y'all, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> this is like really a art. And there's only three letters. Exactly. Here, let me just uh, I'm gonna try to get how she be getting y'all. She be like, okay, right here, I'm gonna just wanna. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you be. Wrap it around my finger, y'all. Let's turn the lemon a little and bit. let me tap it. I'm not I'm gonna pat it, my fault, y'all. Pat, yeah, I like the patting more better. Okay, now you want to do the F, the F, right? So, with the F, just a little tip if you see anything that's starting to get erased with your stencil or anything like that. Do that part first. Okay. So like the little stick that goes like that. So I'll start from here. Cause that's you can, yeah, because this you see how it's erasing? Yeah, it looks faded a little bit. Yeah, so always do those lines first, guys. First. Like always. Because you don't want to be in the middle of a tattoo and you lose your stencil. Always protect your stencil. Protect your stencil. Let's see. Mm -hmm. And whatever you do when you're on a line, especially with letters, don't lift that machine up. Just ride the line as much as you can. Don't do what he just did. Like, just try to do the whole complete line. Don't even think about it. Just As you're staring at the line, the needle will follow it. Like, trust the, that the needle will follow it. So you might be going a little bit too deep. Too deep? Yeah. Okay. A little too deep, fellas. Mm-hmm. You see how it's like cut through? Oh, yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that's Damn. too, too, a little too deep. deep. So as you're doing it, don't be scared to put the rest of your hand on the lemon because all that other stuff is already tattooed. Okay. So, and that's just to give you leverage to stick in just the tip as you're moving it. Damn. Because if not, you're going to do to a person like that. You're going to slice them, basically. Yeah, like a pizza. Mm hmm Okay. All right, y'all. You forgot the little stick. That little stick. All right. <laughs> Let's see. The little stick right here, right? Mm hmm I see why you be focusing. Like you, like you gotta look, like for real, cause yeah, you gotta look at the tip of the needle. Basically, is what you're looking at. Exactly. You just want a, exactly. So you don't want it, the plastic to get to the skin, because right. then that means you're going too deep. Okay. And so I'm gonna come from here, right here. Yeah, you see the difference between that line and the other line right on top of it? Yeah. I definitely see the difference. So the human skin, once the tip of that needle goes in, it's like it's gonna grab the skin. It's not like the lemon that's gonna stay put. It's like <laughs> that needle literally, it's like a magnet. Right. So that's why you only wanna use the tip. Mm-hmm. 
Now try to freehand something like some stitches or a little the stitches? teardrop or something. I want to see your your freehand skills. <gasps> like if someone tells you, V, I want a little X right here. An X? Or I want a little money sign or... Now you could wipe the whole thing because you're pretty much done. Let me see, flip it around, show the camera. That's my first tattoo I ever did in my life. <laughs> That's my first tattoo ever. It's kind of cute. It's kind of cute for my first time ever. Let's, let's compare. <laughs> it's my first time, y'all. It's my first ever tattoo. That's cute. A little fun lemon. Okay, try to do something freehand. Like, Only thing I messed up on, I feel like it's the letter should have been a little more even. Freehand. Mhm. Mm what are you gonna do, like a, a V or a? I'm gonna do a V first. No, I'm gonna do stitches. Stitches. Okay. There's all you, no stencil, no nothing. Once it's on there, it's permanent. too so you can see what you're doing especially with freehand because with freehand there's no stencil no nothing now i dip again right mm -hmm. every time every time you want a fully saturated needle Saturated. Remember, you gotta stay on those lines a good second, second or two every single time. Yeah, like that. Cause if you do too fast, the ink won't penetrate where it needs to. And then you'll get a super light line and you're gonna be like, why? to wet it every time if it's already wet you could just yeah jesus be with me wipe it real good yeah let me know what y'all think man i really only pat dry if it's a painful spot or if i have stencil that i don't want to wipe away <laughs> so i have to come down a little more on that one line quick yeah when you wipe you always want to double check i see that when you wipe sometimes you wipe and you see some flaws some stuff didn't stick or something needs correction <laughs> I'm gonna test that one a little bit more. This line. Make them a little thicker. You can. Yeah, I wanna make it thicker. You make it thicker by going over it and slowing down just a little bit and it'll come out thicker. 
remember you never want to overwork the, the skin. skin right so you maybe don't want to go over a line more than three times max. that's when you rip the skin you said right yeah next thing you know it's like a scar see, how, see how it's thicker now because all you had to do was slow down a little bit on the second time so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go over each line one more time just to see it get thicker yeah <laughs> since we practice it might as well right yeah just try to slow it down That one's already done. All right, so let's go to this one. Feel like that is good on that one? Or one more time? Remember, you don't want to do it too much. Just by slowing down a little bit the second time, you should get it nice and thick. So the only real difference, well, major difference, is that if it's skin, you just have to stretch the skin. Oh yeah, cause it's just a <laughs> lemon. Uh, lemon, yeah. The fun lemon. A lemon that deserves this, y'all. <laughs> so nobody not screaming and crying. You did a good job. I don't know, y'all. Let me um know what y'all think though. You know what I'm saying? This is my first tattoo I ever did. You know what I'm saying? Oh, we're gonna do a, I'm I'm gonna do a couple more tattoos, y'all, on this lemon. But y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. You know what I'm saying? This is my first ever tattoo. <laughs> it look crazy though, don't it? But y'all already know the vibe, man. Me and the lemon got the same kind of tattoos. Messy tattoos. But yeah, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments though. But other than that, y'all already know the vibes. If y'all need any tattoos, y'all know where to come at. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm practicing on my skills also, but Y'all let me know what y'all think. I actually did another, a couple more tattoos on this melon right here. You know what I'm saying? On this melon. And I'm not gonna lie, I feel like I did pretty good. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I did pretty, pretty good. For, this is my first time ever tattooing, y'all. I swear to God. My first time tattooing. Matter of fact, I'm, I gotta flip the camera so y'all can see the lettering on this. So yeah, y'all, this is the final results of trying it on a, on a melon. You know what I'm saying? Personally on the melon. Y'all let me know how do y'all feel like I did for, for, the, for, for this being my first time tattooing ever, y'all. Like I said, it's my first time, bro. Let me know what y'all think. But yeah, y'all, I definitely feel like for this being my first time ever tattooing, I feel like the lettering on this, I did better than a lot of tattoo artists. You know what I'm saying? With this, with this, with this letter. If you ask me, even with the Florida, the nice Florida sign and the little stitches. I don't know. Y'all leave a comment, though. Y'all let me know what y'all think. But other than that, y'all already know the vibes. I'm going to continue trying to practice on my tattoo work. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing wrong with learning, learning like a new trade or anything. Because you never know. Nothing, nothing wrong with that, y'all. But other than that, y'all let me know what y'all think. But y'all already know the vibes.